We've, uh, we've got another new sound for you. Some of you may have heard it. A man by the name of Tut Taylor. He's a in great innovator in the field of country music. Originally from Milledgeville, uh, Georgia. He's a dobro player. And recently he's developed not only his own style of flat picking the dobro, instead of using the two finger picks, now he uses the straight flat pick. And, but he's also developed a, uh, a new style dobro, a uh, 12-string dobro. And recently he's um, made a, an LP just called the 12-string dobro, came out about four weeks ago, and it's already sold over 10,000 copies, which is quite a runaway bestseller. And I think you're all going to enjoy Tut Taylor and his boys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go into something a little bit slower here. The dobro guitar is uh, mainly used in your country music anymore. Uh, they use the same kind of guitar. You, maybe I don't know how well you can see it out there, but it's self-amplified. It's got a resonator in the top. How some of them use it, you'll notice Booker White uses one. But uh, they use it just picking it regular, or sometimes they use the bar on their finger. But in country music, we use it more like the, the country steel guitar, yet we go back and use the old blues licks on it. And here's one that uh, Tut made up himself. It's just a country blues. Uh, he has no name for it. Here it is.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the Dobro guitar, uh, uh, not the Dobro in, in that, that that's the make, the brand name, but this style of guitar appeared in your real early country music, Jimmy Rogers, who more or less pioneered it. In a lot of his early recordings, they used the, that's this style of guitar when it didn't have the self-amplification. Self it was just a regular guitar strung up and tuned like this and picked this way, only with the fingers. And uh, then it sort of disappeared there for a while, and then it's come back in your bluegrass music quite a bit, and then a lot in the country music, too. And uh, your other instruments, your guitar, now Clarence is doing some blues work on the guitar. It can be used for all styles. The fiddle can be used for blues, and, and well, they all can. But the dobro just seems to fit right in on blues where the others don't so much. And, uh, but it can also be used as a breakdown where the others are mainly breakdown instruments. This is more or less a bluesy breakdown. It'll be doing it on the 12-string, and this is, shows off this flat pick style where he makes the rolls only using the flat pick, and it's called Pickin' Flat. Thank you. Well, we've been doing a lot of country blues here. We've been using the dobro to feature it. And right now we'd like to use just, this is the main instrument in all kinds of music. That's the old standard guitar. We're gonna use this in an old country blues. It's a gospel blues, more or less. It's I'm a Pilgrim. And uh, this comes from your old camp meetings and things like that. Merle Travis has a credit for it, but he says on a record that he's recorded that he just heard it when he was a little boy hanging around these camp meetings. And it's a pretty song. Clarence does it in a very pretty way. Here it is. <laughs>
from 